Hey, everybody. How are we doing out there in the world? It is the first, well, maybe yes, maybe last week. Uh, maybe are you counting last week? Maybe we count last week, I'm not so sure. But I like to think this is the first stupid shithead salad day. Ever. The first of very many, hopefully, stupid shithead salad day. Freak Buck Friday is dead and stupid shithead salad day is here to stay. It's a triple S. I just got three yes. things to say. God yes. bless our troops. God bless America. Yes. And gentlemen, start your engine. Yeah. Yes. How's everybody doing? We got a great show for you today. We got an incredible show for you today. Some really good selects. Uh, from the Discord, some submissions, some stuff that I found and I've been wanting to talk about. Um, and we got all sorts of stuff. And also, right after the stream today, I'm going to be on Everything Now show. Bitrate still set low. Is it? The bitrate? Okay. Hold on. Let me fix that. It actually is. Okay. The bit the bitrate was set to 2100. It was set to 2100, which is not what I set it to at the end of the stream anyway. So it, OBS must have struggled so much that it defaulted to 2100. It like changed itself. Um, anyway, I'm going to be on Everything Now show right after the stream today. It's Stupid Shithead Saturday. I'm going to get my videos. dick out. I'm going to get my dick out. I'm going to get my dick out. Something's afoot with the non-VOD YouTube channel, and I'm not sure it's user error. I don't get the videos in my feed, nor do I get the notification. Here's, here's the thing. I have been advised by people who use YouTube and, like, make money off of YouTube. Uh, I have been advised to turn off pushing it to subscriber feeds. Because of some weird algorithm thing that actually makes it more beneficial to not do that. You get more views by not pushing it to subscriber feeds. It's, I did my time and I went out! It's extremely stupid. It's extremely, extremely stupid. But I want more people to see it. And I figure that I'm talking about the, the uh, YouTube <laughs> channel enough that most people who um, are in the loop are going to get notified of it somehow. Just, you know, keep an eye on the Discord. I'll, I'll let you guys know when it's happening. But can I tell you something that happened? So this is the new YouTube Oh, this is, uh, this is the new YouTube video that just dropped yesterday that was edited by our very own Shade Lock. It's, I really love this video. This is one of my favorite ones so far. Uh, it's really, really good. You can find me at Dead Blossom Jesse on YouTube. I'm at 737 subscribers. I'm getting closer to 1,000, which would be a really nice number to hit. Um, and... Also, it would be nice for the good videos to get some good views. Uh, and this is a very good video if you want to check it out. Now, for because I was linking it places, I had it on my phone. I was going to my sister's... Uh, this is a story. I was going to my sister's birthday uh, dinner last night uh, with my family. So I was in the car with my dad and my mom. And my phone auto-connected to the Bluetooth uh, in the in the truck that we were in. So my mother is in the back. My dad doesn't really matter. My mother is in the back seat and the video starts auto playing through really loud through the car speakers. <laughs> so this is what my mom hears before I have a chance to turn it off. <laughs> I just almost threw up. Don't do mutual oral with my ex-wife. <laughs> And that's where I paused. That was where I was able to pause it. I was able to pause it at exactly that moment. <laughs> so, so, you know, she took it in stride, but it's not her brand of humor. You know, having, you should have said it wasn't you. I, don't even know I'm I just almost threw up. It sounds like me. It's pretty, it's pretty tough to say it's not me, you know, say it's your dad. My dad doesn't sound like me. 
How do I know there's a new video if it's not in the sub feed? I'll let you know in the Discord. Just check in. It's YouTube doesn't show subscribers the videos, and sometimes it shows subscribers the non-subscribers the videos. It doesn't. I there's not much I can do. Okay, I just got to follow the advice that I've been given by people who have been in the game longer than me. And who knows? At a certain point, maybe I'll just start pushing it normal, and I'll stop mess like messing with the setting. I'm just taking advice from people who have been in the game. That's all. That's all. Seems like bad advice. It's been, you know, the videos have been getting some okay views, honestly, for being like brand new and something that I'm, I'm like pushing a video to every two weeks, um, and not really even pushing that hard, um, like I'm not promoting it that much. They're doing pretty okay. So whatever, I'm happy with what's work with what's happening. I I'm happy with what's working. It wasn't Charlie who told me. It was not Charlie. Um, I forgot about the video and I would have seen it in my subs. I'll consider it for the future. I'll consider it for the future. YouTube channels do have slow builds, unless you, you have like a viral video, but my sort of videos are not the sort that are gonna go viral, right? My, my videos are not the sort that are gonna like blow up. They're not, um, you know, clickbaity, you know? Um, how's everybody doing? Do you guys want to do the hello joke? We've already been streaming for 12 minutes. We got way off track. Do you guys want to do the hello joke? Okay. Kringus, great to see you. What's up, Crichton and Wongo? Tuckle Nuts, great to see you in Hometown Markup. Scum Crud Man, great to see you. Dr. Peppy Blue, uh, Blue Ruby Red, great to see you. <laughs> Soft Deadline, Horse Wet, Sleep Talkie, Echo Echo Out, Mitchard Mouse, Scrawlston, hello, and Wongo and ECT. Milk Schneider is here, Paisley Fontaine. It's stupid shit at Saturday. Bug Snot, Earth Nugs, Minty, Pants Golem. Great to see you. Bard Gwimwar. Uh, Bonky, great to see you. What's up? Okay, Lazy Dog and Kremlin. Kill all Krem. Spenny, uh, Ku Cullen and uh, Banana Syndrome. These are Adams. Gin and Toxic. Great to see you. Video Games 420. Weed Bong Nugs. Nate Zilly. JKS. 420. 4 and 20 Pie Crime. Listen, we got to get to it. We got we to gotta get into it. Okay. We got, we got so much. Let me thank some subscribers that came in also. A bunch came in. Um, oh, I got to scroll down. A bunch came in. Okay. Ian, great to see you. Thank you for the 26 months. It's been a long time, buddy. Gableer, thank you for the nine months. Happy birthday. Room Tony, thank you for the five. Great to see you. DJ Sour Monkey, thank you for the nine. Happy birthday. Clown Cars, go beep. Beep, 32 months. It's good to have you in the chat. Good to have you in the chat. Uh, Jake Dish, thanks for the five. Crichton, thanks for the nine months. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, Lethargy, thank you for the four months. Prime, Dead Pixel, thanks for the eight months. Kringus gave three subs. Thank you so much. Appreciate the hell out of you. Cash Gordon, thanks for the eight. Uh, a lot of people are subscribing. Okay, let's let's catch up. Zeke Fat, thanks for the three. Normal is, thank you for the five. Um, ja the Jackalope, thanks for the two. Uh, Captain John Star, thanks for the seven months. Slagar the Great, thanks for the four months. Crichton, thank you for the gifted sub to Hello underscore Jesse. Dirk Universe, happy birthday. And Problem Haver, thank uh, happy almost birthday. <laughs> Utilidor, thanks for the five months. Thank you all, guys. A lot of support for the stream. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And watch the YouTube video. And also, show up next week for Rules Room. Rules Room is one week from today. It's a big show. I got six guests on it. It's gonna be more produ It's gonna be better produced than anything I've done. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so if you have the time, show up for Rules Room one week from today. It's gonna start at 6 p.m. just like everything that I do. Um, and let's just get started. I'm virile. I'm proud of my sexual power. Why is it so I know quiet? How to satisfy a woman. Why is it so quiet? Women love having sex with me. Women love having me inside them. Why is this so quiet? Why is it so quiet? I'm virile. I love I'm feeling proud of my, my sexual heart power deep inside I my know how to sex. Okay, okay. All right, we're not listening to that one. We're not listening to that one. That way, we're not listening to that one. That one's not funny. Bitrate seems pretty bad. I fixed the bitrate. I said it, I, it's, sorry. I forgot to... <laughs> I fixed the bit rate. Okay. Here is uh, Daryl. I haven't watched this yet. 
I just want everyone to know I haven't watched this yet. But it's Daryl trying to do Rap God fast. I bet he nails it. Okay. Does Eminem say anything homophobic in this one? I don't know. What does he say in the Rap God? We we don't need to watch the whole thing, okay? But like, I, I we just need to see what he, what he does. I'm gonna go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings. But Efsler, well, where does he say that? He doesn't say it at the beginning. I right? did my time and I want out. I just need to hear what he sounds like. First verse. You aren't going to catch it. What if I go over here and see what he says? Sonic speed. Uh, okay, 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 Holy shit. He I was like, how, what is he going to do? I thought, I thought what he was going to do is like wrap it slow and then speed up the footage. That's what I thought. I didn't think that he would just. I didn't think that he would just do that. Yeah. Photosensitive uh, warning of this video. It's um, sorry. I don't know. I, it's crazy looking. <laughs> I will chew his meat. Because shitting off middle clue to I'm devastating more than demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience feel like it's levitating, never fading. I know the haters are forever waiting for the day they can say, I love, they'll be celebrating. Because I know the video getting motivated. I make elevating music, you make elevated music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous. They confuse it. It's not hip hop. It's crazy that he's like as close as he is, to be completely honest. Like elevating music, you make elevated music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous. They confuse it. It's not hip hop. It's pop. <laughs> hip hop. <laughs> hip hop because i found a hell of a way to fuse it with rock shop rack with duck throw and lose yourself and make them lose it that's the whole video too oh my god that is so good this has to be a sound alert right it has to uh some of them are doing a million zooming i'm a human what i gotta do get through i'm a superhuman i mean i already made a this has to be a sound alert it's like the most sound alert thing that has ever existed is this or anything you say is not 50 bits i'm not gonna do 50 bits this this is raid alert no no can we watch the video at 1.5 times speed no what we can do is we can watch it at um 50 speed and see if we can make out what he's saying uh, it's it's a hundred percent less English. It's it's like less language than it was before. <laughs> Is anyone else becoming completely gay? Of middle glute, I'm devastating mother. Will remember always being gay. Then demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience feel like it's levitating, never fading another hater. So. <laughs> okay, everyone's saying do it fast. 1.5 speed. Let's let's hear it. Sonic speed. Uh, Okay. It sounds pretty good now. You want the fucking audience feel like it's levitating, never fading another hater, so for everything for the day they can say, I love the people celebrating. It sounds pretty good. It's a million times clearer. Yeah. We are getting motivated. I make elevating music. You make elevated music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous. They confuse it. It's not hip hop. <laughs> the fucking cowbell. Okay. This this is gonna be a sound alert. Sonic speed. So make sure that I don't remember. What I do you like the way that he says Sonic speed? Like he's literally, like he's a Sega announcer. Supersonic speed. The sonic speed. Have you played this of Trisha Paytas' world record speed reading? What the fuck? My name is Paytas. 
am 24 years old and I am from Los Angeles, California. I work as a professional. Jim, this city, thank you for the six months. Combo Skiller, thank you for the seven. Lingerie model. People just love to hear me talk. I'm one of those people who can just talk and people like it. People have timed me and I can do like 800 words per minute. I can do anything, you know? I mean, no, I read like The Great no, Gatsby can't. in like 20 minutes. I read it out loud and they sort of slowed it down word for word and I've said every word except for about 50 of them. <laughs> What did you What did you learn from reading that? I it's a someday's supposed to. You are you crazy? I would have like me on Guinness World Record would be cool because it'd be like legit. Like it wouldn't be just like me like thinking I can do it. It'd be really cool to like get the actual record. Where I do everything fast. I'm just a really quick person. <laughs> All right, here we let's, are. With let's Trish see it. Paytas. come on out, Trish. I'm here for it. Okay, so the, she's this. I'm vaguely familiar with Trisha Paytas as like I don't know what she does. But I've heard the name before. I the speed reading thing. I don't think that she she's not famous for speed reading, right? Hi, thank you. Welcome to the stage. Thank you, Miss Paytas. Uh, you're about to attempt the Guinness World Record okay. for fastest talking, and for the purposes of this record, you will be fastest talking. Be reciting Shakespeare's Hamlet's soliloquy. Miss Paytas, if you're ready, three, two. One, go. To be announced, we let us close our window. Remind us of the same thing. I've already reported. Check up the trouble. Boys and men are dancing. No more messages. We are hard to get. National capital questions. Your teachers can come down. Not allowed. We should not see. Prohibition. Do we have the right to judge? We should not allow ourselves to go. We must give us respect. Make claims. We should not be rude. We should not support the person. We should not be violent. 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 I think she's actually doing it. She is not. Come on. We're gonna listen to the whole thing and then we're gonna listen to it slowed down, okay? That was incredible! Woo! Yeah, that was that was incredible. That was incredible. It's like on Smiling Friends when Mr. Frog like shows up and like eats like a human man and the and the audience like pauses and then goes, Yeah! Like they all fucking start screaming. Okay. Let's yeah. let's see what it sounds like slowed down. Spears Hamlet's soliloquy. Let's page as if you're ready. Three, two. Okay. Let's point five speed. Two, one, go. To be announced, that is because we're just number one mind of the same period of our reporter check up the city trouble boys and then they're just single more by city we are getting that shot after the When I'm wrong, I admit it. All right? When I'm wrong, I'll admit it. She's she's doing it. When you slow down the tape, it becomes obvious that she's a special talent. Let's go a little slower. Let's go a little slower. Look at them. They're like, oh my God, she's fucking, she's fucking doing it. She's doing it! Wait, what does it sound like 1.5? It's the same thing as Daryl, it sounds right now! Now it sounds correct! How, how do they check this sort of thing? Do they do what we're doing right now? No, they um, wait for the check to clear. That's what Guinness does. Guinness makes sure that the, uh, they check into their um, banking app and make sure that they see the green plus $10,000. And when that hits, 
when the direct deposit hits, they're like, she did it. She's the fastest reader alive. I like I like this. This is nice. This it's it's good. It's good. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave those up. I have one more Daryl. Do you guys want to watch another Daryl, or do you want to get into submissions? We have so much today. We have so much to get over. Okay. Okay. So this is old Daryl. Dear fellas, <laughs> I can't believe how fast things move on the outside. How is he, what is he doing to his hair to make it like gray? I saw an automobile once when I was a kid, but now they're everywhere. It's the just world a went and though. got itself in a big damn hurry. The parole board got me into this halfway house called the Brewer and a job bagging groceries at the Foodway. He's not doing so bad. This one's not so bad. How old is he in this? Um, I believe Brooks was like, isn't he like 75 or something? Yeah, this is a snap. This is basically a Snapchat filter. It's hard work and I try to keep up, but my hands hurt most of the time. I don't think the store manager likes me very much. Sometimes after work, I go to the park and feed the birds. This is so it's even when he's doing it it's too sad of a scene for me to take <clears throat> it's the saddest thing you've ever seen in your whole life um okay let's get to submissions this first one i'm sorry i know what i i haven't seen it i know what it's gonna be and i'm sorry I go by her highness princess waffles next squirrel. <laughs> but on Tuesdays you can call me Boris. I'm also fluent in cat. I'm gonna kill myself. What the fuck it is? Means, can I has hug? Can I tell you what is most infuriating about this? Can I tell you the thing that is making me feel insane of everything else? Is the fucking like chandelier that's on the ceiling. Like she's clearly extremely wealthy. Right? Like that's what's that's what's making me insane. Is like why would you have a lot of money? Why would you do this? Wealthy people can do bits. She's not this is too sincere. This I is gotta too check well off right now. No. No, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that. I'm sorry. We we don't have to watch the uh, remainder of it. Uh, 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 this is guy steals a handful of cheese. It's so good. What is his ass gonna, what are they gonna do? What, what are they gonna do? Oh. 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 That's, what, also, what's he gonna do with the cheese? What is he doing with like the little thin strip of cheese that he touched with his hand? Like, I don't know. Oh, I fucked up my mouse hold on there we go like waking up too, too early. early okay day 33 eating raw chicken every day until i get a tummy ache day 33 eating raw chicken every day till i get a tummy ache today we're at the mall trying one of these new fancy sandwiches what ha what's a lot of insane elements about the way he looks he's holding it in an insane way it's you're doing this and you still have to go to Chick-fil-A? 
You're doing this and you still have to go to Chick-fil-A for the bun or whatever? Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going to throw up. They wouldn't sell me a raw one, so I had to bring my own patty. Don't call it. It's not a patty. Don't call it a patty. I had to bring my own patty. Fucking nanny state. Okay. Now, that's insane, but here's the more insane thing, okay? Look at how this guy posts. This is a tweet. Like, what a fucking psycho. What a freak. Who writes this? Milk only was my favorite experiment so far. A few months ago, I did 14 days of nothing but milk. I felt really good on that, even if I started to slowly transform into a baby cow. All right. When I find out, like, two minutes into talking about a guy that his fetish is being talked about, when I figure that out, I always feel like I've been had. And it makes, and I get mad. Whenever I find out, oh, this guy is like a freak and he wants, he wants me to get mad at him. He wants me to spank his ass. And I'm like, I have my hand up. I'm about to spank his ass. I'm like, come on. Now I'm not having fun at all. Also, somebody posted this in, I forget who. Was it Milk Schneider? Um, somebody posted, it's just a peep clip. I would assume that somebody wouldn't download part of a, like, a stream and post it. Um, without it being, like, good enough to watch. Please watch this. Okay. So, for those who might be unfamiliar, because some people might, we don't watch Peep as much anymore. If you're new, Peep This Out is a food reviewer that our friends that Go Off Kings are obsessed with. Um, he's just a very strange guy who talks like an alien, um, and does a live stream every Friday best conspiracy theory you can think of aside from aliens of course oh um the, the best conspiracy wow. you can think of i would probably say the the 9 11 stuff to be honest there some of the inside job stuff some of the um things in terms of you know did things really hit the pentagon stuff like that as well um there's a lot of stuff that's out there what the pentagon the pentagon Okay, is he, this is a real clip. It's not a deep fake. I just need to make sure it's not a deep fake, right? Somebody please complain. Okay, yes, it's real. It's real. It's very real. Is he, well, let's just keep watching. I don't know if he agrees, if he's like, or if he's like, it's interesting. Uh, in terms of that. So I would, that's the person that comes to mind. I think there was a, a documentary, a conspiracy documentary on YouTube called Loose Change. Okay, so he's insane. He's completely fucking insane. He's completely fucking insane. Also, look at the chat. Look at the fucking chat while he's talking about this. Look at the chat <laughs> while he's talking about this. Have you, tre have you tread the no Coke spice yet? Have you tread the new Coke spice yet? QAnon. This is the time of year when I always get a fish sandwich, but sometimes there's too much tartar sauce. I think is one. If you do a search for that, you'll probably see there's a lot of stuff where um, there's stuff that just doesn't make any sense. Like how could, you know, jet fuel, which is kerosene, actually burn and melt metal to some, you know, so that way the buildings, you know, would fall. No, 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 um, the owner of the towers actually no! got an insurance policy supposedly a no! few before that, no! uh, which seems a little suspect too. There's a lot of weird things about stuff like that. So, um, I don't believe everything that we saw that day was necessarily exactly as it happened. Ah! It can't be real. This has to be a deep fake. What went down with building seven? It's a mystery to this day. It's raspberry. 
Look, somebody is, Constance is still talking about the damn Coke Spice. It's raspberry. What? You can't think that raspberry is spelled like that. It can't, you can't possibly think that it's spelled raspberry like that. There's no way you think raspberry is spelled B-A-R-E-Y. Raspberry. There are a few things that may have been a little weird. Uh, I'm not going to go much further into it. I don't have any proof of that, but it just seems a little too, too much, you know, to be honest there. So there's a lot after the fact, and that's probably the biggest thing. It's probably that. So. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah, can you play the song? This will be the third time we've watched this on the stream. <clears throat> I God, the song does go so crazy. It does go crazy though. There's a million reasons why, why it can't be, be true. It's so funny. Fire, <laughs> melt steel. It's not hot enough. It's not the blue, it's not a mystery. It's... Okay, so there's a lot of things. Um can I s I know that it's not like I need to disprove this insane conspiracy theory, but the jet fuel steel beams thing always confused me as even a conversation topic because did they think that the twin towers melted down like candles? Is that what they think happened? <laughs> Do they think that they like... Oh no, the plane hit the wick of the Twin Towers. <laughs> it's, that, that specific detail is like, what are you talking about? They got hit with a plane! How could they have fallen? How could they were designed to be hit by planes? <laughs> How could a couple of towers that were specifically designed to be hit by planes? How could they, how could they possibly fall? There's a million questions still remain unanswered. Saudis, that's the answer. <laughs> the answer is Saudi. That's, I, sorry, but that's. Questions still to be resolved. I. Out of 19 Ooh. Muslim Ooh. guys, seven still remain. Mystery. Check out the USS Liberty. What went down in Building 7? Okay, he doesn't have. Uh, he has the big tooth, too. He's got the one big tooth, too. He's, he's got the one big tooth, also. He's also. He's, he's got the one big tooth. All weird freaks have the big tooth. Let's calm down. All right, let's calm down. Hey, Teeny Pogs, thank you for the uh, gifted sub to Ball Jihad. I don't know what that means. And I hope that it's not evil. And I'm, I'm willing to trust you on this one. But, you know. And the tooth finally comes out. There's a th this is my father. There's a theory circulating that the planes were photoshopped in and the buildings were blown up from the inside. <clears throat> My dad was not, no, he wasn't in New York. He wasn't like, he wasn't, he didn't have like, like, you know, peepers. He didn't have binoculars looking at, look, like that wasn't happening, you know. That, that, that much didn't happen. Anyway, can we get back to the different videos and stop talking about this? Okay. Somebody said to me, just watch the first 30 seconds of this. Okay. Um, from King, I don't know what this is. Let's watch the first 30 seconds of this. We don't know where he came from, but I'll tell you, he built our village into a city. He's the one who- If this is just, if this is just an ad for the game, I'm gonna be so pissed. Trained our army, who grew us into an empire. This is not a bounty, this was a submission. This was a submission. Where he's from, but if you think you can stop him, 
You're already dead. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. This looks okay. This okay. That's awesome. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's really. Oh, that's good. That's. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh man. It may be the greatest game of all time. This might be the greatest game of all time. It might be the best game ever made. Why is he wearing a bulletproof vest? I I love ads. We can hang out. Come on. We can hang out and look at stuff. Okay. This is... Can I just say... This is... This is PAL world for me. This is PAL world, but it scratches my head instead of some sort of weird Pokemon freak's head. Uh, so I will keep an eye on that. I will keep an eye on that. And you know what? <laughs> hey, dumb guy, thank you for the eight months. Appreciate you. And um, you know what? Before we get started with the stream, it's... <laughs> Before, hey, before we get started, <laughs> 42 minutes, 6, 6.42 p.m. We've already watched half of the videos. Anyway, before we get started, I thought that Pastor Joe Nelms might be able to kick us off uh, with the pre-race invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as our colors are presented by the... Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as our colors are presented by the United States Army Nashville Recruiting Battalion. We ask you to remain standing for our invocation delivered tonight by Joe Nelms, pastor of family. This guy is about to betray guts. This guy is about to sell out guts and casca. Family <laughs> Baptist Church in Lebanon, Tennessee. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for all your blessings. You said in all things give thanks. So we want to thank you tonight for these mighty machines that you brought before us. Thank you for the doctor. <laughs> these mighty machines you brought before us. Thank you for the Dodges and the Toyotas. Thank you for the Fords. <laughs> and most of all, we thank you for Roush and Yates partnering to give us the power that we see before us tonight. Thank you for GM Performance Technology and the <laughs> Thank you for GM Performance Technology. You know what's fucked up is these days, this guy would have been non-binary. He's not allowed to talk about GM anymore because he's non-binary now. That's what Woke is doing. Seven engines. Thank you for Sunoco Racing Fuel and good year. Gear tires that bring performance and power to the track. This is a character from a Paul Verhoeven film. Like, I, this is un, is this a sponsored prayer? I think that he just likes products. I think that he just likes products. Lord, I want to thank you for my smoking hot wife tonight, Lisa. My two children, Eli and Emma, or as we like to call them, the little E's. Lord, I pray you bless the drivers and you. No, he's, this is him. This is his opinion. Tonight, may they put on a performance worthy of this great track. I'm just imagining someone who starts believing in God now. Like, this is what sets them on the path to Christianity. Is this, like, you know what? It might be kind of cool to believe in Christ. In Jesus' name, boogity, 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 amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. Boogity, 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 amen. This is basically Righteous Gemstone, yeah. What? He said boogity, 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 amen. Did you guys miss that? Trying to wash my dirty dick using my dishwasher. Closing it inside the door, filling it with water. The They're water is boiling hot, really hurts my penis. 
Now <laughs> it looks right like melted them. wax, and it didn't really clean it. And it didn't like really. Like waking up too early. <laughs> if he starts singing banana pancakes, there's no conversation. No words. Regular back of the postcard. Salty as pretzel. Thanks for the six months. Great to see you. Okay. Uh, this is I'm back. What is this? I knew what this is when I put it on the docket, and I've forgotten. When I put this on the docket this morning, I knew what it was. What is this? <sighs> I pour way too much milk in my cereal bowl. Tape that I'm late when I'm running the school. Got the fake working weight on me feeling a fool. Kate looking at me like I stole a fries, but some eyes are the lies and a girl's okay, mind. Cowbell. Ain't nobody ever looking at me for a solid time. Paint a body, fantasize, wait a body, pantomime. I'm scared of hate invaders with a wordy type of plan of mind. Out looking in on a chill time. Working on a whim when I feel fine. Uh, 2.72 million subscribers. This video has 86K views. Like it on my worst day, vibing on a birthday, start school later every week on a Thursday. Had to go away so I could come back. Every Not sure what happened. Fun fact. I'm a sad lost mind in a dumb maze. Even on my fun days, mind trap, bottle store ship phase. Like a washed up algae on a beachfront. Making all the same dumb shit up. It's making the beat more interesting. Fun. Feeling like a curse and it's no fun. Uh, hello, I'm Stewie Griffin and I hate to rhyme. I'll Wait, what? He built for the thousandth time. He gained a little weight, but he's still great. Just ask his mother. She fed some cake, but not just cake, also some soups. After all the shit that he went through. What the f- Fuck is what the fuck is this? He didn't finish college and I'm not the tallest. He's not a bloody genius and it didn't take one to college. You boys listen up, you both gotta toughen up. Oh, just like your son. Hey, shut up. My name is Hank Hill and I'm danker than it. I just got I'm not kidding when I say I got like insanely tired just now. I got like dizzy about how tired I got. It's. They, I just hit a wall. I hit a wall because of this video. Feel like a mean porta potty made of poop and a pill, but to ask All right. Is there anybody else that he starts singing as? Got beige. We got beige. It's a worse Peter Griffin than my normal speaking voice. Uh, my normal speaking voice is a better Peter Griffin. Bongo afraid devil. <laughs> Bongo devil hate. Dude, Peter Griffin is cracking me up. Me whenever I show up on Chibli's stream. Oh, the chat when I show up on Chibli's stream. Dude, Peter Griffin is pretty funny, okay? He's doing pretty okay. Who is Peter Griffin? Uh, Stan Twitter, Spider-Man calls old lady cutie pie. Oh my god, it is Spider-Man. How can I help you, cutie pie? Give me the toilet, want to kill me. Okay. We'll move on. I don't want to talk about skibbity toilet. I don't want to talk about skibbity toilet. Okay. Ra raccoon steals donut. That's not for it. <laughs> Crittenton hit it on the head. That's not for us. That's uh, someone else. That's for someone. That's not our problem. You know, that's somebody else. Doing it. Rough lineup today? I don't think so. I think we've had I think we've had some real shooters today. The rap god and Trisha Paytas videos were really good. He is doing it. Doing it. He is doing it. Today's been especially deranged. Bro, it's stupid shithead salary day. And also peep 911. Yeah. That's I mean that's gonna commit? Okay. If he, if he falls out of that hole, he's gonna have a. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe he's not. This is incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I, if I saw that raccoon, press, press four, swapped my AP4. Fucking kill streak AP4. Recoilless rifle. Recoil is anti-tank. I can it can be fired from a standing position. <laughs> Punch a fucking hole. Blow, and I'm gonna blow up the subway next door too. <laughs> Don't minus two me just because you want the animal to live, okay?
Another Family Guy rap? Can please. Oh, hey there, Cleveland. Yeah, what, what, what's going on? What's the problem? Peter, this is probably the worst rap song that I have ever heard in my entire life. Really? Okay. Well, uh, I thought I was doing just great. Why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and tell me what I'm doing wrong? Not good that his Cleveland is this much better than his Peter. Not, not the character that you want to be. That's like your signature character. That's not the one. You need to have more enthusiasm in your voice. Okay. Uh, okay look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you... Got a pocket Cleveland. Someone from chat fell into a Family Guy rap hole and just started copying and pasting like a madman. We get some good stuff because of because of people who are on some sort of kick. Speaking of kick, Dropkick channel, thank you for the nine months. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and show me how it's done if you're so great. Oh no. Well, okay, Peter, no. if you absolutely insist. No, please. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away, but I know that I don't and I You, you guys can't say skip for every video, okay? We have to watch some of them. We have to watch some... Come on. We got to watch some of them, right? We, got to, we can't just... You look so sad, though. What? Where? Do you see some sort of sadness in my eyes? Do you see a sadness in my eyes? Can you do this as a sub goal? If we hit 1,300 subs tonight... No, I'm not going to do that. If we hit 1,350 subs tonight, I will do, um, I will do Rap God. I can do that. I bet I could do it. I bet I could do it. But it would have to be like 200 subs. Seriously. Show us. The California Raisin shirt is really good. It is good. Not every, li we know I'm not going to say that one part. Okay. All right, let's skip that. That's really bad. That's really bad. Uh, Mr. Cheese TV ad. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Okay. Yes. See, this is the sort of submission that I need. Don't fucking stop with the family guy stuff. Put this on the duck. If you're in the Discord, you start submitting this stuff. I like this stuff. This stuff's please. good. Mr. Cheese. It's a big yes, please, from Mr. Cheese. The this is what I like. This is what I like. Come on! Real cheese in a can that's got great taste and convenience written all over him. So versatile. No refrigeration, no added colors, no artificial flavors, no slicing, no grating, no mess. Just squirt it on and enjoy. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Yes, please. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. They didn't really... Oh, it's in New Zealand. They didn't really spend too much time refining the lyrics, seems like. Hey, thanks for the gift. It's up to Mrs. Cheese. Um, it's not Aussie like shit. It's right. New Come Zealand shit. Um, they didn't really refine the lyrics. Um, it wrote itself. <laughs> Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Okay. Shackleton's high seat chair advert. It's grand to find a comfortable chair when you're getting on a bit or you've got arthritis. My niece got this from Shackleton's, you know. Shackleton's original high seat. Never thought it'd be so easy to get in and out of. First she sent for their brochure, then went to the showrooms. They'd over a hundred chairs to choose from. Shackleton's high seat chair, it's lovely. Okay. This is this is hell naw. Why they saying you ate a treat if you ain't eat a treat from Did you eat I'ma ask you again? Did you eat a treat from her? Hell no. Alright. Hell no! So why y'all lying saying she ate a treat? Now if I look back if I look <laughs> Yeah, let's get let's get it one more. Why they saying you ate a treat if you ain't eat a treat from? Did you eat? I'ma ask you again. Did you eat a treat from her? All right. 
<laughs> that's nice. That's lovely. I love that. I love that. That's that's terrific. It's nice. Oh God, these next two. <sighs> I see that you are waiting for someone to contact you. What the fuck it happened? What is hap What the hell happened? Oh, I remember. Someone was acting crazy in um in Instagram Reels comments. So I had to get I had to I had to crop out the Instagram Reels comments. You love this person very much, but there has been a falling out or a lack of communication. The connection is strong, which is soulmate or twin flame connection. Okay. It shows me the universe separated you and this person because the timing wasn't right. But now the universe is preparing you and this person for a new beginning. Jared Fogel and me. You will get me good news Fogel. after you see this video. You won't feel the way you've been feeling much longer. Me and my best friend Jared Fogel. You're meant to be with this person. If you would like to know more about your exact situation, Fogel. just go ahead with the link in my bio. A long, it was a long road to get to her saying, yeah, you know. <laughs> My BIO. Yo. Can somebody tell me what to add on to this URL so I can just like scrub to the end? Somebody has to have it. I, I forget what it was. But it's like some, it's not calm. Oh, link in my bio. Doesn't work anymore? Fuck! Bio. Curses and hexes that have been placed over you are being swiftly removed. Controlling force of your life is being dispensed. This is you being bred to higher. Cancer calling your life the rope to your ascension spirit. Jesus Christ. Very Who <laughs> flat top? Everyone shut up! All right, all right, all right. Are you ready? Sure, sure. Why is this all back? I must have pre I'm out of- Alright, go for it. Alright, alright, you ready? He's so sick. He's so sick! You're right. It's Chekhov's skateboard. It's it's Chekhov's Nickelodeon skateboard. He has to use it at some point during the video. Otherwise, otherwise he ruins it. He loves he loves the inflating his chest thing. The inflating his chest thing is like his signature move for some reason. He loves it. He's doing better than I thought. He's doing better than I thought. It's not as good, but he's doing better than I thought. How dare you stand where he stood? How dare you stand where he stood? Okay, the first thing that I would say to a new dancer, don't look afraid when you're dancing. Try not to look like you're like really scared to be dancing. That's That kind of spoils it. He's doing okay, though. He's doing okay. Do the chest thing. Do the chest thing. Is he doing slow walk? He's doing my bit! That's my signature move! My signature move! Look how fast he's going! He's not even walking that slow! Don't get me wrong. It's 
And he wasn't even holding his breath. He didn't do it right. You need to hold, you need to hold your breath. Got to be as uncomfortable as possible. You got to look like you're about to choke. Look at the big bumps in watch time, and you know that's when Flat Top starts his shit back up. He's so good. Okay, it's it's actually a genius idea to have two shitty white boys come in and do your bit worse so that everyone knows how good you are. <laughs> Someone use the skateboard. Use the skateboard. My girl. My girl. Let's hear it. Ooh. He's got the footwork. He's got the footwork. I just, I just love his shit so much. I love him so much. I know we're watching a lot of, I know it's, it feels like we've been watching it for a half hour. But flat top, I mean, let, let's skip ahead a little bit. so good he's fucking really good hole cutting at the 16th is electric he's cutting holy shit <laughs> He's doing it. He's doing it. Come on. He can do it. I know he can. Is he going to be, can he pull it off? Do you think he can pull it off? He fucking did it. Look how clean that is. He will fall in. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's I don't I don't think so. I mean, I don't think so. He gets like one toe in there and then his whole body gets sucked in. A hero. Hero. Grimes tells Nardwar about her cult. This, I'm going to skip that. No, I'm skipping this one. I'm skip. This one is I'm skipping it. I'm skipping this one. I'm skipping that one. I'm. What is that going to get? It's not going to give us anything. We'll get nothing from it. The famous comedy juggler, 1937. <laughs> That famous comedy juggler Reba. Rebla. Can I ask why? Come on. There's no way you had this emotional response to a comedy juggler. There's no way that this is the emotional response you actually had to seeing this video. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't like freak out. And this guy might suck shit, also. He's doing okay. It's not that cool. 
not that interesting so far. He's juggling three things. That's not that crazy. Is this comedy? Is this what comedy used to be? Is this com- This isn't comedy. Bro got the whole squad laughing. I do gotta say, if somebody started doing this in front of me, I would start laughing, but like only if I knew them, you know? It's kind it's like mildly funny that he's like kind of moving around weird. But it's not very funny. A guy doing a performance while looking unenthused, that's comedy. You're doing it right now. I look enthused. Does it not look like I'm having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm sick of the fucking comedy juggler. I'm sick of the, uh, the fucking comedy jugglers can suck my damn dick. I don't give a shit about the damn comedy juggler. Listen, let's switch to something that I know is fire, okay? We talked about this guy on Wednesday, okay? Troy Hurtubees. Inventor of several bear suits that he thought would protect him from being killed by a bear. They're all just dipshit football helmets with titanium. Yeah. <laughs> just getting beat the fuck with two by fours. <laughs> that was almost perfect. That was almost perfect. In the middle of the forehead. So tell me, I He's been doing this for 40 years, dude. He's been doing this for so long. Let's watch him get hit by the car again. Uh, we, uh, we pushed the trucks up to three-ton trucks at 50. Yeah, okay. So we already watched some of this footage. Let's watch some of this footage of something that he filmed to try to sell this thing. Father's idea with the with, with the pickup truck uh, and the bikers with regards to big men. And being an anthropologist, he uh, uh, he looked at uh, the testings we had uh, originally done uh, with uh, yeah. normal sized men, you know, 150, 180 pounds. He said the public isn't going to buy it. They're they're looking at this monstrous grizzly bear. The public isn't going to buy this. Why would they buy this fucking stupid giant suit that costs three thousand dollars? And they're looking at a normal sized man hitting you with bats and boards and stuff like that. They're not going to buy it. You have to give them reality. <laughs> You have to give them reality. You have to. Just beating the fuck out of his dick with a pull cue. Completely unharmed. He is completely unharmed. Get that upper body down off, and I feel great. Oh, so that's what she did, eh? I got that, eh? Took a lot, though. I heard somebody banging away. Like a woodpecker out there. <laughs> I think... It, he, why does he look like Morrissey, by the way? Um, there's that. There's more stuff on him. Let me see. Is this the next thing? We already watched that. Where is it? This is the one. Now, I screened this on the stream a while ago. A while ago. But... He is so funny in this video. He's like unbelievably good in this video. Expert with a knife will always take a man with a gun within 20 feet. Always. Good start. Good start. On the draw. You won't, on you the won't draw? draw leather on your nine Glock. Before I draw leather on my knife and kill you. So Why? Why? Simple fact. 
Is there a reason? I mean... <laughs> You're not gonna pull it out straight out. That's that's in there. You... <laughs> the way I oh look at him. Look at him. The pinnacle of manhood. You're not gonna take this guy in 20 feet. You're not taking this guy in 20 feet. You try to shoot this guy, he's 20 feet away. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't fucking think so. Boy, you're not gonna pull it out straight out. That's that's in there. You, 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 you're gonna lean on that. You're not gonna do it. You gotta. That's how deep it goes in. Okay. And that's a boy. That that's against a, any, that's a boy. Man would have been dead. He'd have been dead already. Didn't this die, guy die in a car explosion? How did he die? Do we know? He died in a car explosion. I heard he was murdered by bears. Yeah, they blew up his fucking car. <laughs> they put a bomb in the wheel well. You got to check the wheel well. When you're in danger, that's the most common place. The bears only had to be lucky once. He had to be lucky every time. That's a, that's a lot of knife coming in on you. Jesus Christ. I have two sides. I have no middle ground. I am pure light and pure darkness. I cry. <laughs> I have two sides. I have no middle ground. I am pure light and pure darkness. I cry for people on the streets. I hate poverty. I hate. I'm a hero. I hate poverty. I hate the weak. Uh, you know, I protect the weak. I, uh, you know, care about women. And I, uh, you know, I just have a fucking cool. I'm a Power Ranger, and I'm I'm the Green Ranger because the Green Ranger has a flute sword that he is able to. Summon his Megazord with a flute sword that he can play. So I'm the Green Ranger. Hate children that don't eat. You know, it drives me crazy. It breaks my I hate children that don't eat. The guy who was like, I have changed and manipulated time. I have three days in a day. Yes, that guy is crazy. Hertzabees was traveling on Highway 17 west of North Bay when his car collided with a transport truck carrying gasoline, sparking an explosion. My heart to see children suffer. I love people. Uh, walking me the wrong way. Yeah, I'm one dark bastard. <laughs> Come on. What is this? What is this weird masculine thing that dudes are obsessed with? Where they're like, they're the protector, but they also have a darkness. Like they think it's so fucking cool to be like, if you wanna, if you flip my switch, I go fucking crazy. Like, is that good? Is it good to go fucking crazy? I fear of vulnerability. I think it's maybe I this is going to sound so boomer coded. I think it's too many action movies. I, I like that specifically, I think, is like you just grow up with action movies. And you see and you think it's so cool every time that a guy is a decent family man, but he just snaps. Like, and you just want to be that guy, you know? But where did the action movies get it from? I mean, it's a, it's a like masculinity thing, but like that specific kind of like being obsessed with the moment. It's like this obsession of like the moment when you snap is definitely like, I think media driven because a ton of people are all, it's all the preppers, everyone who's like obsessed with when the grid goes down are all the same also, where they're like obsessed with what's going to happen when the shit hits the fan, you know? I didn't choose when I got attacked. The only thing the experts agree on is with a black bear, you never run. A black bear, you never play dead. A black bear, you always show aggression. This is 100% of the time. Not so with the grizzly. Your yeah. best chance, if it's a female, you see the cup in that, yeah, play dead. Whether it was my martial arts or... <laughs> It's just I'm one pissy son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't know anything about Grizzlies back then. John Oates. I'm still a teenager, you know? And 
I can feel the sense John for Oates. days. I mean, you know, it's quiet. It's a stillness. I look at this grizzly. And then he just moves in on me, just smash right in the chest. All of a sudden, something hits me. Uh, one of my senses said, there will come a One of my senses said, one of my senses. <sighs> All of a sudden, something hits me. Uh, one of my senses said, there will come a time in an individual's life where anger supersedes fear. And that's when you stand or fall. Okay. His sensi is an even older, even dumber white guy. That's what he means. What he, the guy he is talking about is like an even stupider guy than he is. <laughs> How insane is it to think about that? And it was beautiful. It really was. Just let the knapsack go. But you would be surprised how many, like, what, how many, like, chains of karate schools in America are some white guy remembered karate from a movie and came up with a new karate that he teaches? They are every, I mean, they were everywhere when I was growing up. They're kind of, they've kind of fallen out of fashion for, like, you know, people want to get real exercise now. Looked at this animal and said, Piss on you, ain't gonna happen. I had my boy, and I had a. He's very machete. Danny McBride pilled. Yeah, he's extremely Danny McBride pilled. I said, Man, for sure. Prowess is fifty times mine, but pal, I'm good enough to stick bullies in you. And he just gave me that look. I'm good his, enough to stick bullies in you. His head kind of went back and forth, and he turned 180 degrees, and his buoy just gone. He just, I just watched him walk off, and it was almost. Uh, Oh man, the stillness, the quiet, it was unbelievable. You see, that's the wilderness. That's what brings it. See, it goes, it's like, wow, okay, this is. Can I ask, and, and let me ask everybody in, in the chat, what stance is scariest for, let's say that you get into a fight outside of a gas station or something. It's just like a fight that's out of your control, but you, it's like, it's about to go down. What's the scariest stance? Okay, bear stance, horse stance, tiger stance, please. You're just <laughs> crane kick, poop squat. That's not <laughs> Chris Cross applesauce. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking for real. What's like the what's the scariest stance? Because I'm like, if somebody goes like this, like into a karate stance, I'm like, you're. I could kick your ass. Like genuinely, if somebody does that, I'm like, I think I could kick your ass. Um. Pro life. That's not. That's a different kind of stance. That's a different. Okay. Lean back, arms crossed. Spooky stance. Again, not good. They start powering up like DBZ. Okay. John Kerry's stance on the Israel Palestine conflict. That's a different stance. I'm talking about a physical stance, not like somewhere. Okay. This is uh, this is a funny picture of a cat from. Chinese state affiliated media. This is beyond that's not that's not what I was asking. Say Chinese again. It's cool. This is this is what it's all about. Oh, but if it was PBS, you wouldn't have a problem with it. I just think it's funny to say state affiliated media. That's all. I just think it's like, it's just a funny phrase. There's, and to be fair, there's no corruption in, in American news media. So. So I wanted to learn more about this bear. I wanted to know why. That's one way what? that we have them beat. You know? I went back to college. I had quit grade 10, so I had to go upgrading all over again. And um, what I found out, there was nothing damn thing going on in the grizzly. You can't get close enough to study them. It'll kill you. Well, I'm watching. That's not true. That's not. What are you talking about? He so first off, he dropped out of school in grade ten, and then he was like, "You can't study grizzly bears." Yeah, yes, you can. We know nothing of the grizzly. I feel like we know 
plenty about the damn grizzly. Can't study sharks either. I feel like we know a lot about sharks. How much do you need to know about sharks? You know, like there was there was no grizzly bear material in his GED. Looking at my GED exam, and I'm like, and there's no grizzly bear questions at all. And I'm like, what are they hiding? What are they trying to keep from us? Something's being covered up. Watching uh, a Robocop. And I'm telling you. Gillis Filler, thanks for the seven months. Hey, uh, notice there's a very specific detail that he reveals here. Uh, see if you can tell what it is that tells you a lot about why he's actually doing this. It'll kill you. Well, I'm watching uh, a Robocop. And I'm telling you, halfway through that movie, it just all came together. I just. Just looked at that and said, that's it. I, 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 you give me the time and the money, I want to build a suit. That <laughs> Watching Robocop and thinking, wow, Robocop is so cool. I wish I was Robocop. Me watching Robocop. I wish I was Robocop. That's how it all started. What watching him walk through a watching Robocop walk through a model home as he barely can't remember images of his wife and children uh as he turns golem like into a weapon of the state. Yo pog based 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 What a fucking... This guy would kill bears. All soft material for fucking dollars. Okay, this is I all stuff we... Oh Why is this part of it? Why is this... Why is this part of it? What is the bear gonna do? The bear calling down a napalm airstrike. The bear got six kills, and then it, then he can press right on his D-pad to call in a napalm airstrike on the on the bear researcher. Troy goes to McMaster University. That's our MIT. And I go to doctor. I didn't say B-pad. I said D-pad. I didn't say B-pad. I said D-pad. So I present. Problem to them. No, B for bear? Oh, okay. Love it. Wow, that's brilliant. Wow. How do we simulate the power? Guy who won't get a divorce but secretly wishes he got Robocopped out of his marriage. Or a grizzly. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm watching Robocop and my kid comes up to me and says, Daddy, why won't you play catch with me? And then I'm and then I look over to the TV where RoboCop is playing and I'm like he doesn't have to deal with any of this fucking shit. He can just relax and watch his movies. <laughs> he can just hang out at home. And watch stuff. <laughs> Let's break this down. After 2 days research, they look at it and they say, "Okay, Here's what you gotta I do. bet Robocop doesn't even need a if TV did, to watch movies. That's, that's right. Dead impact. At 50 Robocop hour, always gets what he wants. No one tells no one tells Robocop what to do. Got no problem with a bear. Well, they see that and it's assume, a movie. It's a movie that this this dad has seen like 20 times and still does not understand. What an idiot. Jumped in the suit, no buddy. That's four years. That's Five suits. Stop. Okay, I'm Troy. You're basic. I hate to, and I hate to be the one to tell you this, Troy. You're basic. Okay, what is next? I need to. Oh, look what we have here, Russell's backpack. I wonder what he's got inside. Oh. Okay, this is a um. This is a Generation Hope style thing that got submitted. This is not for us. Gen Gen Hope is sometimes for us. So this is a new experiment for us to look for. Kid becomes Roblox billionaire after account deleted. What is 
What about the cute girl? What the hell is that? Rub it up. Thank you for the nine months. Look, you should never leave your laptop unattended. Is that a Beats by Dre laptop? What the fuck kind of laptop is this? Is this the is this the all the way to the left Walmart laptop? This is the like $70 laptop at Walmart. Top unattended. <sighs> what weird behavior. That's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a good bit. That's a good bit. That's a good bit. <laughs> uh, it's still got the stickers on it. Looks like. <laughs> looks like it's still got the stickers on it. Psyduck with a, way, with a gun. Thank you for the three months. <laughs> Russell's so lucky I'm around to teach him life lessons. Pretty good. Good green screen. Looking Time good. Time for Pet Simulator X. Great. Let's do the tech. Why are they in a bakery? World. No, we're playing fantasy. Fine, let's hatch some eggs. None of these basics. I want the rare ones. Yeah. How old are these kids supposed to be? These are like, these guys are like 23 years old. Dozen. Got a corgi? Black How old bear? are they supposed to be? Golden tiger. That's lame. I'm looking for a legendary. Hey, I see you guys are playing Roblox. Is this Russell? That's right, Pet Simulator X. Yeah, Russell, you should join us. I, uh, I think your Russell. laptop's in your backpack. Okay. Oh no, oh no, the cruel headmistress is trying to teach counting in the other room. Don't let her know that we're playing Roblox in this room. <laughs> Jesus. She's so cruel, this headmistress. What is this? My laptop's ruined. Okay, why was it? What is this? How is it full of water? What is this? What is this? My laptop's ruined. Oh, looks like Russell wants to play Ocean World. I don't think so, Brock. That's not funny. I like this guy in the middle. I like this guy in the middle. <laughs> I don't think so, Brock. I'm not so sure. Obviously, he did that on purpose so he doesn't have to play against us. Oh, yeah. I'd ruined my laptop on purpose. It got more wet. It got wetter. I feel like they have to wet the laptop for every take. Russell, man, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I'm writing a Roblox game. It's a good thing the files are online. It's getting wetter oh, and wetter. You are? Well, you better get a diaper for whatever computer you use. Very fun. That's Fuck, dude. Hey, Brock. Jesus, you better get a diaper for whatever computer you use. I can say is- So your computer doesn't shit. My game's done, you're gonna stink at it. That is so cool you're writing a game. When can I play it? It doesn't matter, Dylan. He's only writing that game because he's the worst at every other one. Okay. Oh yeah? Well, maybe you and I should do a competition one of these days. Maybe we could do it in a swimming pool so that you will always win. You know what? What? What is that? What did you say? Maybe we could do it in a swimming pool so that you will always win. Why would he say that? Because laptop wet. Because he loves water so much. Is it good at him? What computer? <laughs> oh, he's saying so that Yule will always win. He's talking about Christmas. He's talking about Christmas. Wet laptop. Okay. Okay. All right. We're starting to crack the code. We're starting to crack this thing. Okay. That's okay. We're getting to it. We're getting in there. Mr. Wet laptop equals water equals swimming pool. Well, wasn't it soda? Just shut the fuck up or I'm going to kill you. All right. You're ruining everything. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm gonna write my game at home. Is he allowed to do that? It's school. Bye, Aquaman. 
It's school. Is he allowed to do that? He's at school. Dude, don't you think you're being a little harsh? Russell's laptop is broken and he doesn't know who did it. He's going to have to find a different computer to build his game on. Russell's laptop hey, is you broken. Play Brooke, hey sure. No, I got it. Why is this all wet? Oh, that's Russell. He's messy. Don't pay attention to him. This is holdovers to me. To me, this is holdovers. How long is this again? Well, let's uh, just keep watching. Now that I have my shanty next to my cove, <laughs> let's just let's just let's just keep watching, huh? I'm gonna put the spawn point. Not hell divers, holdovers. But on the other side of town, here. Oh, Russell, why are you using my laptop to do your homework? Uh, I left mine at school. Uh, I'm using yours so I can build my. This okay. I know this laptop that he has because it's the one that I had to replace because I saw a YouTube video that was, this is the worst laptop I could find. It's this one. It's, it's, I have it. It fucking sucked. What's the sticker? It's a Gundam sticker, whatever. That's your laptop? I got this shit for other reasons uh, a couple years ago, and it wasn't ever useful for anything. It was, it was such a piece of shit. I learn over and over again that if you're going to buy something, buy the thing you actually want. Otherwise, you're wasting your money. You, you don't want to buy something twice. Homework. Oh, really? You got it for building your homework? I did, actually. I was taking coding classes at the time. What you working on? Uh, history. That's not history. You're playing a game. I was... I'm not playing a game. I was trying to I... learn coding, and then somebody uh, was like, hey, do you want a job at Firaxis? And I was like, I've never had a game dev job before. Do I need to learn how to code or anything? And they were like, no. So I was like... We will have to sleep with Grandma when she comes. Well, that's not what I said, but I was, I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> you said that to them? <laughs> I was, listen, I was just excited. I, why did I say that? I was just excited. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> why did you sing it? I was excited. I just wanted to, I was excited. How did you get other jobs? Mm, I don't know. Hiding one. Making plain. I've applied to jobs before, okay? I wasn't headhunted by Panera Bread. There's no difference. I told you, you cannot play games till all your homework is done. Okay, can I point something out? And this is not a dig on the lady, but just a a detail of like, <laughs> of like what must be happening in the studio. She is dripping with sweat. I think I spit all over myself. She's dripping with sweat. Hot, hot lights. And a wig. I told you, you cannot play games till all your homework is done. <laughs> maybe this is why he's got, maybe this is why he's Aquaman. Because everyone knows his mom is, it's like, it's really sweaty. Mom, I'm already getting all A's and B's. No, you're not. You're only getting a C in history. History? Who cares? The future is technology, not history. And All just right. how are you supposed to learn about the future if you don't know about the past? All right. I feel like, feel like my patience for this has uh, waned. I feel, feel like my patience has waned a little bit for this. Um, that's your limit? It's more of a time limit. It's not like, it's not like a content limit. It's more of a time limit. We can come back to it. Wait until they get in the swimming pool, at least. Well, no, there's. They're not gonna get in the. That's not how it works. They're not. He was just saying that as a dig. Like he was not actually getting in a swimming. Okay, let's watch some uh, Instagram reels, and TikTok. Let's. We're moving into the TikTok zone, and taking a little bit of a TikTok reel dip. Okay, bro, spended forty years of grinding XP for a useless ability. You cannot be doing a video reply to somebody who is nine years old. 
There's a couple of rules that I've found that just put someone on the do not reply list. One is if they say should of, as though it's two words. The first word is should, and the second word is of. Or like could of. If they say that, that's on the do not reply, right? That's that's the do not reply list because they're, I mean, they're struggling enough. Oh, bro, bro, you said 40 years of useless ability. I am hot under the Holy collar. shit. First. Holy shit. He's case. okay. And then we're going to get into this. Oh, there it ah! is. All right. They got to be on the back. There's no not useless ability. This has got you gotta a, be house, on the back. a car that's paid for the college education of two of my daughters. I only have two daughters. It's not like there's other ones. I have two bathrooms in my house. Two bathrooms. That means I can urinate two different places. Let me tell you something right now. Yes. That is not a useless ability. This is comedy juggling. This is real comedy juggling. These abilities have gotten me to go on shows. Japan, the Cayman Islands, uh, 40 in the United States, Canada. Yes, I have done shows in Canada. The Cayman Islands. Leave that one off the list. Leave that one off the list, right? Like, there's certain, like, don't list everywhere that you've performed. I've performed everywhere. North Korea, Little St. James. Uh, somebody said Little St. James at the same time that I did. I've been out. I hate that my chat is funny. Everybody in my chat needs to start developing co-worker humor so I'm the funniest one here. All right? You gotta stop being as funny or funnier than me. You need to be showing me clips from The Office, which premiered in 2005. And, like, season eight of The Office. You gotta be showing me, like, season eight clips. All right? Otherwise, I don't feel special. Don't rep. Don't worry. I'm repping the boring contingent. GM, uh, pardon. Let's, uh, okay. Chat audit. Okay. GM Pardum says, I'm repping the boring condition. Uh, okay. Is, is GM Pardum boring? All right. Let's see what they've said today. Um, it's the dedicated porn laptop. That's when I was holding up my laptop. Pretty good. That's, uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good post. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. A lot of lols. I don't know. At one point during the Elden Ring stream on Wednesday, they just said Fushigi. Which, that is co-worker pilled. That is pretty co-worker pilled, right? The question is, are they repping the boring contingent? It, the, bro, bro, don't, come on. What, come on. It's the, it's the fucking long links. The fucking long links. Come on. Just just knock it off. Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking at, the, yeah, I'm sorry. Chat audit is I'm looking at this person's chat history. Okay. For most of these streams, at l over 50% of the chat messages are lol, lamau, or a single number, like one. Like just typing one. Which is the type of chatter that I like the most. This is my favorite kind of chatter. On the 16th, wrote, hot dog fried rice is almost as good as spam fried rice. And there's 20 minutes before that message and 20 minutes after where they didn't say anything. I, th this, I think GM Partum is the chat co-worker. I think, like, m respect for it. I think they're the chat co-worker. Like, they're very supportive. I think they're a very positive influence, it looks like. Oh, no. Oh, God. Earlier on that stream where they said hot dog fried rice is almost as good as spam fried rice, I'm, I'm, making, I'm not making this up at all. They said Gabriel Iglesias does better sound effects, and that's not even his main bit. You shouldn't. How do you know that? How do you know that? 
How do you know that? You shouldn't know that. Why is it when, okay, we were watching the sound effects guy that sucked on Huckabee, right? That's definitely what was happening. And, and you're like, the first touchstone that you could think of is Gabriel Iglesias. That's the first one that you thought of. I, listen, I don't have a problem with Gabriel Iglesias, okay? As far as I know, maybe there's something I don't know about it, right? Um, but, okay. Chat coworker. And can I tell you something? Congratulations, GM Partum, on being... It's because my parents like him. You're the, you're the co-worker. Congratulations on working at the cubicle next to me. Thank you so much. All alone I watch the quiet train. I'm excited to see what your latest lunch you brought from home smells like. Silent night. Oh, oh. Holy night. Okay, let's get back to it. On the David Letterman show, I gotta move this out of the way. I'm angry now. I'm angry now. Was he on David Letterman? That's right. I've been on the David Letterman show, the Late Show with uh, David Letterman, the Late Late Show with James Corden. America's Got Talent. That's right. Not with this trick, with a different trick. So let me just. This isn't even his trick. This isn't even his main shit. He's got different tricks. He got different tricks. Tell you. $40. $40. It is not wasted. It is not wasted. This has provided a living for my family, my wife, my children. Please <laughs> go to my website. You can see what I've done. Please. Do your research. Okay, don't say go to my website, you'll see what I've done. That's scary. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say, look, look into my deeds and you will find what I have done. Go check it out. <laughs> go check out the snow cat and you'll see what I mean. Uh, vacuum cleaners look before electrical ones. This one, this one feels more comfortable. No. This is not real. This shit is not real. <clears throat> this, this is, is uh, no. the daisy number two. Nice action, nice crank and bellows, but I don't actually think it's a... Uh, this can't be... No, this shit is not real, okay? This is not... Getting anything off the car. This one is like, as it rolls, it makes this fucking big flat board go up and down to... That's... It. Can't... This is Monty Python. This can't be real. This is not real. Slightly difficult coordinating all, both the actions at once. Nice crank, <laughs> nice crank and bellows. Nice, nice. This one looks like it's going to be really uh, elegant. Calm down. <laughs> calm, fucking calm down. Is he trying to rip it off? What the fuck is this comment? What is this top comment? What the fuck does this mean? Visual representation of pubic lice? What are you talking about? They're dangling on nutsacks? They're not like yanking. They're not doing this. I don't think so. Does he, does he think they're trying to rip the pubes out? They're trying to, like, pull the nuts off of your body? I don't... I don't know. I, I have no clue. You sound like someone who has never had pubic lice. Can I tell you, I had to calm myself because initially I read that as an insult and I almost objected to it. I was... I was very, just because of the patter of the stream, how it usually goes between me and chat, my instinct is to read something like that and be like, I've had pubic lice. What are you talking about? Of course I've had pubic lice. Are you stupid? <laughs> Don't clip that. Don't clip that. Do not clip me saying that I have pubic lice. <laughs> Why is this one so loud? 
The hell are they? Oh! Okay, that last part is really scary. That last part is really scary. Hey, can we all just say goodbye to Scum Crud Man, who just said bye and didn't say anything else but just said bye? Can we all say goodbye to Scum Crud Man and uh, thank you, all, thank you so much for being here. And have a good Saturday, and hopefully you have a good Saturday. And, um, you know, hopefully you have a good Saturday. So thanks so much. No, I mend the potatoes. Don't make a fool. I'm going to ban you. Are you going to make me a fool? What is this clip? I've had pubic lice. What are you talking about? Of course I've had pubic lice. God damn it. Why is it so clean? It's like I gave... It's so... And there's... Uh, Cacho got one, everyone other. I've had pubic lice. What are you talking about? I've had pubic lice. What are you talking about? Of course I've had pubic lice. Okay, these are different. These are all different ones. These are different um different clips. That's good. Okay, here's an advice here's here's a an invention called the slide board. Uh can it pick up melted cheese? like it can it looks like it can <laughs> looks like it works perfectly uh don't know what that invention could possibly be for okay um traffic guy gets distracted by drive through beer distributor at 8 38 and then you come to a stop sign like we're doing here and you just want to be careful of not going oh what is this here hold on what is this oh, hold on is this a drive through <laughs> beer distributor <laughs> I didn't know they had these here in Chester <laughs> County. Look at this. It's like, All right, well, signing out. You know, we've been uh, drinking coffee for most of the morning. <laughs> we got to get some supplies for later on. So some businesses are open. Lamb's Beverage, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they had. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Sponsored by Hyundai. <laughs> Oh, sponsored by drinking and driving. It's just so you pick it up, so you take it home and you drink it. And then you, you're not drinking it in the car, okay? You're just getting it and paying for it in the car. And then you have it open in the car with you. And you can hear it sort of talking to you, kind of like in, like the Green Goblin mask in your cup holder. <laughs> it's It's like, you know, the Miller High Life. It's the champagne of beers. <laughs> it's talking to you. <clears throat> Yellow means speed up, Norman. It's only a school zone five days a week. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, a guy who says he um, is turning plastic into diesel fuel. I have created diesel from plastic. That's not what diesel fuel looks like. Um. Waste. The entire world deserves to know and understand that plastic is not waste. It is not trash. It is fuel. No. Plastic. No, it's not. Paper is trash. I mean, you can burn it, so it's technically fuel. It has more energy within it 
then gasoline and diesel and jet fuel combined. When we throw it in our oceans, plastic has so much oil content in it that if we were to convert every bit of plastic in the ocean into oil, we would be able to run our world for over 30 years. I think he's right, probably, first time check. Great to see you, Holly. Uh, Dingmas, thank you for the two months. Great to see you. Here's my question. This, this is the thing. And I know that you're going to say, oh, the oil companies don't want you to. Why wouldn't any, if this is this easy to do that a kid can do it, why wouldn't anybody just start doing this and make a million dollars? You could make so much money. Maybe not in America, but in any number of countries, you could just start doing this and make an infinite amount of money. They will kill you. Because they get shut down by big oil? No. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not on the side of big oil, but I'm like, I like I don't think that they're I don't think they're shutting this guy down. <clears throat> this is not funny, but the plastic lobby massively exaggerated how practical it is to recycle plastic. Again, that is not funny. That's right. It is eighty four billion dollars worth of plastic in the ocean. Imagine the landfills. The landfills are gold mines. We have not been told the truth. Plastic is made of crude oil. Plastic is a solid form of crude oil. We will turn it back into oil. We will save the world. Nature. How would that, first off, how would that save the world? Second off, if it's more valuable as crude oil, why would they turn it into plastic? Right? If it's more, if there's still, why would they do that then? Why would that? Why would the oil companies, why would they do that? Let's change the world. Yeah, that's the, that's the weird thing that I learned somewhat recently is like oil is, oil availability isn't actually a problem. That is not actually a problem because of how the earth sort of kind of works. The problem is everything else about it. <laughs> The problem is actually, it's actually worse that we will never run out, basically. That's actually kind of worse, you know? Uh, Roscoe's friend, thank you for the six months. Thank you. Uh, turning plastic waste into fuel. Here is the plastic to fuel reactor he has. William Brown, and this is my plastic to fuel reactor. So what we do is we load in shredded plastic, as you see here from the top. Okay. And this machine operates off of microwaves heating up the plastic. Inside, we have these blades which agitate and spin the plastic around. We then turn on the microwaves and spin the blades. This allows the plastic to be evenly, thoroughly degraded. As you see, all that's left is this solid carbon product. And we also get an oil out of the plastic. It turns the, the plastic into gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. Oh, no. So we have to separate all of these out because they're oh, all mixed together. No. And we do that no. through the process of... Dis it's so much farther from... It's so much farther from fuel than it, than I thought it would be. It's it's so much farther than fuel than I thought it would. Be. He's lit, he's microwaving he's microwaving plastic until it's black and distillation. And then it, oh no! So I have this simple distiller here, this glass distillation set, like you would see in science labs. This is what they don't want you to know. Up, and as you see, now we're getting the individual components, the gasoline separated, as you. See. And what you have to understand is if you have the calcifier and the alembic in your inventory, it boosts your alchemy skill, which allows you to create potions with greater, they last for longer seconds, period. See here, we also- More stamina regen over time. We get the diesel separated, as you see here. And we actually put this diesel into a go-kart engine and it ran. Have enough plastic diesel. Oh, is there enough? My name is Julian Brown and this is my plastic- I don't think so. What game are you referencing? I'm referencing Oblivion, uh, which had the very funny rule of you just had to carry around an Alembic and like a fucking Erlenmeyer flask. You just had to carry around a bunch of alchemy stuff to boost your alchemy skill. And there was no reason not to, but you would just carry it around all the time. 
Lots of diesel go-karts out there. Diesel is famously good for go-karts. Uh, really small engines love diesel fuel. Why don't you ever build anything cool except for your tube that came to life and pissed on you? Because that didn't work out for me. That There were uh, issues that arose. Good times celebration. Kathy's birthday with a cameo shout out from Gary Busey. Is there a way I can help him? Is it like, is there a way that, that like maybe I can just send for help or, you know, just something I can do? This is for Kathy. For Vis sure. Visual representation of pubic life. Kathy's birthday. We have not watched Daryl doing the Michael Richards comedy store incident, and we're not going to. Uh, I don't. I think that that is flying a little too close to the sun. Personally, I, I think that's a little bit too much. Hey, it's February the first, and she is enjoying that day and watching DC Cab. The birthday is the biggest celebration everyone has on Earth because that's the day you were born. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You yep. know what, Kathy? I don't work on February first. Because that's Kathy's birthday. That's oh, Kathy's oh, birthday. Oh, 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 oh. It's better than I thought it would be. It would be way, it's way better than I thought it would be. It's not even that bad. His hand looks like a rubbly glove. Dude, it actually does. His hand actually do be looking like a rubbly glove that has a ring over it because it's all wrinkled up. How come he got pipes? How come he's got pipes? I didn't know that. I didn't know he has pipes. I didn't know he had pipes like that. Okay. Wait, what is, wait, Dr. Pepper? That, that Dr. Pe Dr. Pepper? Mm. Ooh. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's good. That, hey, <laughs> oh. what's that, that Dr. Pepper? Mm. That's that Dr. Pepper. Uh, can we ban that uh, freak who keeps um, uh, spamming the same link over and over again? I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> uh, okay. This is... I don't know what this is. Um, watermelon? Watermelon? He's a Baki character. This is what a fucking Baki character does. He just like, <laughs> to show off that he has like a perfectly straight finger. <laughs> he also looks like one in the background. He's got the fucking like weird clown makeup. This is the human monster. <laughs> Doing this in front of Obama. What does that mean? Uh, this is 50 Cent Curtis Jackson, Get Rich or Die Trying. Okay. Peace, people. This message is strict. This guy says, listen here, mister, pokes me in the chest, punctures my heart. Can I say I, a thought that I have a lot? I think about it a lot of like an old, like a skeleton wizard. Um, poking me in the chest with his bony finger and like and he touches me in the chest and then a wave of energy flows through me and I'm, I don't have anxiety anymore I just think about that well I think about how it would feel and I think about this a lot well I think about how it would feel and like it would and how, like, he could pierce my heart if he wanted to with his bony finger, his sharp bony finger. Why is he a skeleton? He's got a skeleton hand. Could be a normal head, but he's got a skeletal hand. 
and he pokes me in, and he like jabs me in the chest with his bony finger. And it starts and it flows through your whole body. And then I don't have anxiety anymore. Strictly for 50 Cent. My nigga, if you see this video, get at me. <laughs> <laughs> if you see this video, get at me. I think 50 Cent, watch out for this guy. These are your quotes that I had printed up at the public library that I could see the images in. Did you see these three headed monsters? Hmm. Wow. My nigga. As a youth, your name was Booble. Okay. So this guy is completely insane. So this guy's completely insane. <laughs> so he's printed out a bunch of 50 cent quotes. And then I believe, based on where it's highlighted and stuff, he has connected sequences of letters to draw this these images you put in here this is messed up the images in did you see these three-headed monsters hmm. do you see these guys do you see these guys yeah that last the last paragraph doesn't seem like i i don't remember 50 cents saying this last paragraph uh fire torture death and humiliation fear by day i don't remember him um I don't remember that being in one of his songs. Was that a song of his? Was was that a song he wrote? That was in the club. Oh, okay. This is the official Balzac. 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 It's the craze. It's the ball that flies in crazy waves. Wagon. Balzac. The ball that balloon goes. My cousins had this. My cousins actually had this. Balzac. Blow it up. Give Balzac a whack. Wagon. Balzac. I can't believe that they called it this, though. I have no idea. Is that what was in there? Coins and water? Coins and water? That's your invention? What if there's coins and water in a ball? This my little buddy, the ball that brat, and my newest. Bragging about what toys your cousins had at the age of 32. I'm 28! Monster ball that twice as big, twice as fat, black it. I'm 28. And my cousins had really cool. What is this? Good morning, everyone. This is Kung Fu Granny here. Are you ready for your weekly Kung Fu lessons? No. Huh? I give lessons three days a week. No. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't want to watch so this. Just give me a text if you're ready, and we'll get started. Ooh, hold it. This is a Aqua Teen Hunger Force character. Crap, Granny. They should call you whew, Break Wind Granny instead of Kung Fu Granny. Ooh, mercy. Okay. Ooh, that smell, Granny. I tell you what. Okay. Whew, I, I can't stand it. Oh, uh, what, what, run, Jake. Granny's unstable. Run before she falls on you. All right. Have you eating hot dogs like this with no hands? It's not, it doesn't work that well. It's not, it does, it's not really working. How else would I eat them? With your hand. Don't just eat the bun. He almost is eating the paper towel. He almost is eating the, the, the T-Rex dogs and Kaylid chomping me. Don't uh, don't eat the paper towel. That's gonna make me insane. Don't eat the fucking paper towel. Jesus Christ! Don't eat the paper towel. That I can't handle. That don't eat the paper towel. All right. Here's Iron Rails and Pipe Dreams listening to a radio show where they're talking about aliens. The city. The city. There's a lot of ways you could design them, but I think they'll have a substantial underground part. Uh, and then they'll have a part on the surface that'll be domed over. Um, domed over. Fucking tell that to my freaking. I'm not dating anyone. And, How are we going to uh, get all that stuff there? This, most of the stuff will have to be made there. 
a fundamental to settling Mars are technologies for turning Martian materials into resources. Okay. Now this, of course, was the trick with the Mars Direct mission of turning Martian carbon dioxide and water into methane and oxygen propellant. That was the key to exploration. The most important material you can have is propellant. The whole video is just him looking at the camera doing fucking... Doing fucking react faces, doing YouTube thumbnail faces at the Mars stuff with in front of his Hot Wheels. But in terms of settlement, we got to go beyond that. We got to be growing food on Mars, and not just growing the food on Mars. We need to make the that's what you, or this, this is what I did instead of watching Pete Davidson on Timer Tuts too. I I did just literally do this. I kind of feel bad about it, but. You have no idea. I'm so mad you did that. You have no idea how self-satisfied I was that it was working. You have no idea the satisfaction that it feels when you are looking at chat and everyone in chat is saying, oh, Jesse didn't like that at all. And and you know in your head that you are looking at a still image. <laughs> God, that feels good. That felt good. Greenhouses in which you grow the food on Mars, and we need to even make the motors and pumps and pipes that are used to uh, run the greenhouse on Mars. But maybe you'll have to mm -hmm. import the computer chips and stuff. You love to mail manipulate people? It's, it's, it's non by I'm a non-binary manipulator. To control those. I'm a non-binary manipulator. Pumps and pipes from Earth. So Mars is going to need some income to pay for import. <laughs> Sorry, Ian pointed out a funny quote. Maybe you'd have to import the computer chips. <laughs> like you're making computer chips on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the immensity of how complex it is to make a computer chip. <laughs> like, And I believe that one of the primary exports that he's got a Mars will... he's got a nice face he's got a very emotive face seems like a sweet man cooking bismuth crystals in my kitchen I wanted to cook up some crystals in my kitchen so I got this unique metal called bismuth I wanted to cook up some crystals in my kitchen so I got this unique metal called bismuth and put it in a pan and melted it on the stove top after a while I had I would, this guy's voice is awesome. I would love to have him explain different Magic the Gathering card sets to me and why certain cards are not allowed in Unlimited anymore. A buttload of liquid metal. It was like a big liquid mirror and I turned the temperature down to low and let it cool slowly. I punched a hole in the hard layer of metal that formed on top and then poured out the liquid core to... God, that's fucking cool though. <laughs> that's, that's cool that the top made a... Made a like a shield. Crystals. I chiseled away more of the outside. Holy shit! Layer of this big homemade geode. Whoa! I ended up with a whole bunch of really awesome crystals. There were all sorts of colors and geometric designs. Why it do? Why does it? Why did it do that? Bismuth. Why does it do that? Does it do that on purpose? What is this link? No, we can't watch the knife guy. The knife guy is too meditative. The crystals. Are I like the knife guy. Totally rad. I wanted to cook up some crystal. It is total. It is totally red. It is okay. Here's a world of food. We haven't watched World of Food in like a month. Mac I have to. He has uploaded this in a fucked up vertical format, but not as a YouTube short, so it's not possible to make it full screen. Hold on. McDonald's. You hold on. Can I hit this? McDonald's. It's not working. <laughs> like. I don't know how he he uploaded it some fucked up way. I have no idea. Hold on. McDonald's. Whatever. This is this is. McDonald's USA Double Big Mac comes with four beef patties. I'm imagining him looking through a mail slot. That's basically what he's doing. A Big Mac sauce, melted cheese. It's so funny that he does this in a vertical format, and then the only moving part is his eyeballs, which are in fucking sixteen by nine. Patties, pickles, onions. Combined, you can have a huge, delicious, and brilliant burger from McDonald's. That Bro, he puts some fucking stank on his... Dis Listen to this. He's going for it. Combined, you can have a huge, delicious, and brilliant burger from McDonald's. That <laughs> the way he says 
delicious is like incredible. Combine, you can have a huge, delicious. It's, it sounds like he's about to fucking cry. And like he's so emotional about it. From McDonald's that feels meaty and huge. <laughs> that feels meaty and huge. Huge. Finally, McDonald's USA is getting something interesting. Thank God. Of course, to go with it, I recommend World's Famous Fries from McDonald's, pretty obviously. It's not that And then for a drink, I recommend uh, uh, a pineapple mango smoothie is my personal recommendation. Bro, at the Indian place last night that I went to, I got, as a drink, I got, it was just called mango iced tea on the menu. I didn't know what I was ordering. They bring it out. It's iced tea with, like, a little bit of yogurt and, like, mango puree in it. And it's, like, the most delicious thing I've ever had. It was kind of... Is it called Lassie? That's not what it was called on the menu. But it was fucking good, dude. Lassie is entirely yogurt. It's not iced tea. No, this is... Okay. Lassie is just ma mango and yogurt. I don't, it was Lassie in iced tea then. So, because it was iced tea with stuff in it. But when I mixed it all up, it was kind of like a smoothie. So, yeah. It was fucking really nice. From McCaffey. I didn't even know it existed. It was, it was reminiscent of like a less sweet version of the Thai iced tea, where it's like iced tea with some sort of creamy, I'm sorry, cum in it. Some sort of cum in it that <laughs> makes it like really good. Like, it's it's kind of the same thing. Mimeograph, thanks to you for the seven months. Hey, McDonald's. Now, overall, with all of these- Why would you say that? You know what I mean now. Now that you know what I mean. Which is why I said it to begin with. I think it's going to be delicious and fantastic. And what makes a double Big Mac so special is the fact you can have four, I mean, I'm four scratching my head. beef patties. And that's a big deal. And the fact is, so far in McDonald's USA, in its home yep. market, they never offered cool stuff. And finally, they are. <laughs> McDonald's has never offered anything cool. It's a really funny complaint to lodge. Mac McDonald's isn't cool at all. Okay, let's move on. Crazy facts you didn't know. Clapping at night can bring spirits into your home. Random facts you need to know. Clapping at night okay. can bring It's not a fact. Spirits into your it's an opinion of yours. Your home. Random you have an opinion about that. Facts you need to know. Dreaming about a dog bite means betrayal by a loved one. No, it what? <laughs> what if wait, what if I dream about a betrayal by a loved one? What does that mean? Does that mean I'm going to get bit by a dog? I gotta be careful around there dogs. There is a person who wants to be more than your friend. He is the second person who pops up when you click on share and then go to the more option. Did you this is, that's a Facebook fucking post. Oh my God. You can't make that as a TikTok. That's a Facebook post from like, and that's a Facebook post from like 2010, dude. You know that breathing through your mouth while sleeping increases your risk of getting cavities. Once you stop liking someone, everything they do starts to irritate you. This is a tweet. This is just a tweet. You're right, dude. Thank you for the eight months. Antarctica is the continent with the strongest wind records, and it can reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Only people who don't know what they're doing with their lives stay awake past midnight. Not true. Not true, because I stay awake past midnight almost every night of my whole life. Leave your bedtime in the comments and find out how many people sleep at the same time as you. Before. Why would I care? Why would I give a fuck who goes to bed at the same time as me? What are you, fucking stupid? Okay, let's hear your bedtimes in chat. Let's see your bedtimes. 4, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 p.m. Okay, that's weird. 4 p.m. is more insane than 4 a.m., for sure. That's way more insane. Okay. Mostly normal. I'm seeing mostly normal times. I'm realizing that any time between 4 a.m. and or any time between, like, 8 p.m. and 4 a.m., I'm like, that's a normal time. That's a norm that's normal. 
before I tell you the last fact. Please, please, oh my God, please subscribe. I'm so close to one million. It's completely impossible to stop thinking. If you stop thinking, you're still thinking. What if you die? What if you die or are killed? What happens? What if, have, what? What if you are killed or die? What? What happens if you die or are killed? Judge Judy, take your briefcase and go. Unfortunately, under the law, unfortunately, under the law, even if you don't know that he's only 16, and I might be fooled by his appearance, uh, he is, you have any proof that you're 16, sir? I certainly do. Let me see it. Let me see it. These are some fucking 1996 looking ass guys. Look at these guys. A lot of people like to say DBJ in 20 years or 30 years. I mean, so I wouldn't be unhappy. I, I wouldn't be. Don't say two years. Don't say it two years. I'm looking better every day. A lot, most people say men look their best when they're close to dying. <laughs> that's, you know, that's how men age gracefully. They look like, when they look like they're about to die, that's when everyone starts coming out of the woodworks. 30 is brutal, man. Let me tell you. Me when I me when I can't smoke weed 19 hours of the day every single day and I I I can't smoke weed and drink all the time anymore. I can't eat cookies for every meal anymore. Dude, being 30 is it's a death sentence. It's a death sentence. It's a normal age. 30 is a completely normal age to have. It's it's a completely normal age. It, this is my opinion. I've I think I've said this on stream before, right? When you are like 32, because I have friends who are 32 who are, will without, without failure, see somebody in, in their late 20s like me and be like, you're so young. I'm like, not, I don't think so. Um, and I think it's because when you see the three, you're like, I'm old. 30 is not old. 35 is a normal age to be. The thing is, you're just not old anymore. You're not young anymore when you're like 30. That's it. It's, you're not, there's, it's not a binary. You're not young or old, which is how a lot of people think. It's like, you're young, and then you're normal, and then you're old. And I am just, like, beginning to start to be normal. Right? 28-ish is like, or 27-ish is like normal. Then you are normal. And then later, I will become old. But, I mean, come on. What about 23? Tw you are young. You're a baby person. You're fresh, unfired clay. 26 to 35 is normal. Me when I'm 26. <laughs> no. Uh, that's not That's not true. So it's you're normal when you're 44 years old. I really think that that's not old. Maybe it used to be when like you were expected to be pierced by a lance in your peat fields. Maybe 44 was old. That's not happening anymore. That's you. That's normal is till like 49. I would believe that. I would be like normal is 30 to 40. 50. And then there's normal old, which is, then there's becoming old, which is 50 to 70. And then there's your fucking old, which is 70 until you die. Right? That feels right to me. That, that feels correct to me. A lot of cope right now. Judge I don't think I'm young. In this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of $152. I'm a streamer. I'm a streamer, okay? I know what it's like to be like the old guy. 
because all the other streamers that are like bigger than me are 21 years old. That's you. That's me. Judgment in this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of $152. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, step out. I'd like to add one more thing. Go ahead. Um, I'm extremely uh, appalled at the lies by the defendant claiming that I threatened her and that she called me. She did not call me at home. She did call me on my pager. I uh, did return her call uh, originally, and she was extremely... Uh, Mr. Valdez, you just yeah. won. Oh, take your briefcase and go. As I excuse. Judge Judy continues in a moment. I, you know what? I feel for this guy. I feel for this guy. But you missed your shot, okay? If you're planning on making a statement that you can walk away from, I listen, I can totally understand being like, I want to make a statement for the public and for myself and then leave and have that be the last memory in my thought in my thoughts. I totally get that. You got to have a better one than kind of mumbling through. She was rude. And when I, I, re I did call her when she, my pager called, wanted my call be back. You can't do that shit. If that's what you got in the chamber, get out. Don't, don't be pulling that shit. Okay. What else, what else do we have to watch? What else, what else do we got? We have a uh, Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning Chug from the KFC Beverage Bucket. Mission you up for Please stop posting links to eBay. They are so long. And eBay is not a site that I find myself uh, feeling safe clicking on. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't feel safe at, on eBay. When it's a YouTube link, it's like, how bad could it possibly be? You know? But when it's eBay... Yes. I mean, We're doing a video, folks. And we oh, it's an ass pick one, too? Mm. A crisp back. Mm. Back. <laughs> he ain't thirsty today, all right? Ladies and gentlemen. We're watching Badlands. Oh, We're watching Badlands. It's Monday night. I got the car lit up like Hollywood, California. And yo, hey, yo. we are chugging something. in. The are you going to do a Bellatro stream before? No, I'm not going to do a Bellatro stream. That would be the worst stream I've ever done in my whole life. Genuinely, it would not. Nobody... Nobody who watches me wants to watch me play Bellatro. That is not why people show up. They don't, they don't show up to watch me silently click numbers. Come on. I, like, you can just play Bellatro and get more out of it than watching me do it. Stefan did it and it sucked. Come on. That's rude. It did not suck. I was watching that one. It did not. Stefan is a great streamer. And extremely funny. I, gave, I give him shit. Because it's funny too, but an extremely funny guy, in all respects, very talented and uh, and a good streamer to wit. The Mountain Dew that you can. And every one of my friends also wants to do more streams where they are just playing something that they like, and it's and I have the same issue, and it's difficult for all of us because if you engage with the game, you know some of our, it's it's the double edged sword of having an audience that like has high expectations of you. Right. If you do good streams like the go off Kings do, they have high expectations. Right. Whereas. So if you do an extra Bellatro stream that is like. B plus. Everybody is going to be like non. They're going to be. You know, they're going to think it's not as good because they, because they're used to a plus. It only get from KFC. High expectations of go off Kings go off Kings. You fucking watch them. What are you, crazy? Give up kayfabe for like one second. I don't, I don't. Okay. But everyone who says they sucks does watch them. It's fridge cold. But you see KFC behind me. And we about to do this. Oh, don't touch that mouse. What's good, folks? It's your boy, Bad Lance Chugs. And yes, I'm at my local KFC. The issue is that Stefan spent the whole stream trying to convince the chat the game was good when it's boring as hell. One, El Bozo. It's not boring as hell. It's fucking awesome. Two, 
God forbid he try to bring the chat in on the fun that he's having with the game. <laughs> what do you want him to do? Like, play the game and say it sucks the whole time? And I got right here. I think, Odd. I think it's called a beverage bucket, all right? You can actually go to any KFC and get two liters of goodness put in a bag. My GF does not want to watch this man drink the sauce. It's not sauce. This is not sauce. This is how they package soda. They don't give you a gallon jug. They give you a gallon bag. Like, uh, and he, you don't even have to see him chug this because it's an opaque bag and you're just going to see it shrink into his mouth. Right? You know, to share with the family while you munching and crunching on your chicken. But you know your boy Badlands goes through the drive through and just get this. This right here is my glass. Right now, we got right here some Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning, all right? This one is pretty good. I've tried it before. It's been out for years now, but you can only get this at KFC. We about to chug good. this. It's a quick video. It's like the peach Mountain Dew, right? It's pretty good. Mountain Dew. I'm going to have that Mountain Dew over there while I'm at Walmart. It's sealed and everything. So, yo. Let's just crack this open. You have to get on all fours and start braying before they give you the drink bag. Then they strap it around the back of your head. Before we crack this open, you know, I just want to let y'all know that Chris is in the house. All right, yo, edging the chug. You know what beverage, he does? Okay, you know, I remember you know how, he, how he does video, it. You know, saying the pure in the comments like he was looking a little thirsty. You know, saying oh, good you good? Oh. All right, let's not waste no more time, folks. Yeah. Let's crack this open. There we go. <laughs> yes. This doesn't come pre-packaged. How do they fill this? The first that's not interesting. Why am I asking? That's not interesting. Where it's at. And man, this thing is just. Whoo! This thing is frigged, folks. Because why? Get to it. Get it's to it. time to stop the yapping, and it's time to say the yes. most beautiful yes. words and yes. chug them. Okay. Yes. Enough talk. Hmm. The Chip and Joya says they have a big capping machine. Hmm. They must be in your house. They must be in your house. If they're capping that much. Talk. Huh. Sorry, it sounded like he said cock. It sounded like he said cock. <laughs> cock. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. Taste bag, colostomy bag. Shut up. That was... Does the bag give him some kind of power? Is there something about the bag that helps him out? That's... Because that's like a gallon. I bet squeezing it helps. The fact that there's no glug probably does help. Like there's no, you don't need to release air back in. You can, it can just shrink, right? It's two liters. Is that, that's less than a gallon. Okay. <sighs> gallon is like Man. three and a half liters, right? <laughs> oh, where did it get their water? And congratulations to Badlands on his retirement from the MTA. On the North Sea? Oh my goodness. This thing was just it's, it's good. Super cold. Oh man. Very nice. North Sea cool. joke reference. North Sea reference. Where are my North Sea heads at out there? But where are my North we Sea did heads. It. There's no chug. That can just <laughs> he, he doesn't have anything planned. He doesn't have anything planned for this one. He's this is this this is a work day chug. This is a this is a workday chug. You know, he's get he's getting it done.
He's getting it done. Hey guys, can I can I bring something up with you guys? Um, I might need to call the stream early. I know we're a half an hour between before it usually would end. Uh, but I might need to call the stream now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm running out of steam, and I have to be on Everything Now show in a half an hour. Um, it's Saturday. It is stupid shithead Saturday. Um, but I'm running out of steam, and I need... I, I want to be good on Everything Now show. Um, and that's going to be in half an hour. Twitch, can we get a shout-out for Everything Now show? Um, I'm going to be on there. And I want to make sure that I'm, like... 100% there, so I'm going to take half an hour to get centered. Yeah. What is this song called? I'll put the link. I don't know. This It's in some compilation, but there's the link in the chat. Um, also, yeah, join the Discord if you want. The Discord is the best, best place to hang out. Uh, talk to all these wonderful people. Submit things if you want us to uh, look at them on a future stream. Also, one week from today, Rules Room. Rules Room, one of the biggest shows I've ever done on this stream is going to be in one week on this channel, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you, you got to come through. If you like Fucked Up Jeopardy, this is on that scale. And it's, I don't know how it's going to go. It's, it could be, it could be any number of things. And we're going to find out together. I think it's going to be really, really good though. I think it's going to be really, really good. I hope you guys will come through. Um, yeah, what else? I, otherwise, I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you in half an hour on Everything Now Show, and I'll see you on Monday. Join the Discord if you haven't. Um, Demi did end her, Well, Demi had the time wrong. Be, well, I don't need to get into it. But it was nice. It was nice having Demi. Demi is a great help to me. Um, like an immense help. Anyway. Rules room one week from today. Come through for it. I'll see you on Monday if I don't see you in half an hour on everything now. Thank you guys so much. A great stupid shithead salary day all around. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>